I started with three mowers, I'm down to one. I've got the other two running, this one will not run, so we're going to start again on it. I'm going to disassemble the top part of this. I'm going to take the carburetor off and we're going to put it in the cleaner and see if we can't get fuel to get run into this. That's what's problem is, is it's got spark, it's got compression, but the fuel delivery's off. So let's see what we can do with that. First thing I need to do is to take this top off of here. It's a fuel tank molded in. So we'll have to clamp the fuel line off somehow and see if we can't get this off. Let's grab some wrenches here. I believe we need this one right here, this one right here, and let's run this off. We got a nice flow coming out of the tank, so it's not that. Okay, what's holding this on? This right here, and that right there. Let's see if this is the right size. It, it is. Boy, that hasn't been off the ever. You can sure tell when things haven't been taken apart. Oh, come on. Yep, there's a little spring right there. Let me get a light and see what that is. Ah. Oh. Well, I think I can get it off without unhooking it. There we go. We'll just lay that down there. And pull this off right there and right there. Boy, that's sturdy. Now, it looks like we got a bolt here. Let's see what we got. This thing may be junk. I don't got spare parts, that's for sure. There it comes out. And that just has an O-ring on it. There's the carburetor. Boy, I'll tell you what. Never saw the light. But if that carburetor was sucking air because of a bad O-ring, I think I could find a new one of those. Let me get the carb cleaner and I'll clean this off and I'll come right back in. Okay, I have this cleaned up and the way this bowl comes off is just it clips right there, one, one, a clip on each side. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're going to See if I can't get that apart and see what that bowl looks like. Got it loose. Let's pull it out. I have never worked on a plastic carburetor before. There's the bowl. I hope you guys can see that. There, can you see that a little bit better? There's the float. And there should be a needle valve in there somewhere. I don't see it. Yeah, I do, I guess. Let me get the light. That thing may be sticking just a little bit. So let's pull this pin right here. Pin right there. We'll pull that pin out. And set it right there. We'll pull the float off. And there was the needle valve. Where'd it go? I dropped it. Okay. I'm going to have to find it. Give me a minute while I look for that needle valve. I found a needle valve. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of this. 
I'm going to go ahead and spray this out. Got me a little tub set up right here. You can see. Okay, let's put this thing back together. There you go, I got the float in, or partly, got the needle valve in. Now let's put this pin back in if I can. There's the pin, and let's check that again. This motor is really dirty. I should have blown it off. I could put something on the end of the carburetor, I guess. Dirt from getting in there. But I'm going to go fire my compressor up and we're going to blow this thing off. I bet I got it exposed too good not to clean this up some. Yep, all this, this right here. I wonder what the oil's like in here. Let's check it since I got it right here. Well, that oil don't look bad at all. Fact is, it looks pretty clean. It is. I'm not sure if you're supposed to screw this in or not to check the oil. If you guys know, let me know. But that shows right up to the fill mark, or right up to the full mark, screwed in. Yeah, comment below, tell me which, uh, if that's supposed to be screwed in or not on these Honda motors. I really don't know. Okay, let me get my air compressor fired up and we're going to blow this off. Let's see if we can't get some of this dirt blown off of here. By the way, look at that. That really turned out nice. Cleaned up beautifully. Good pressure spray would do a, a wonders on that thing, but they gone. Getting this up and down off of this, my wife stopped by earlier and helped me put it up. I did it earlier today by myself, but that's more than I want to do. Let's see if this helps any. Carb cleaner. Oh, well, that's cleaning some. I don't know if these old mowers are worth anything or not, but I read where this particular mower is kind of rare, but who cares? And then I also heard that Honda quit making mowers. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard someone on another channel say. There's another Hoosier. Got a shop somewhere. I don't know if you noticed or not, but there's my pickup that I've been working on too. That's really an old one, 1985. Look at that frame, that really turned out nice. Wasn't hardly any rust on it. A little, but not much. Let's get back to work on this one. Let me just wipe some of this up. Oh yeah, that'll clean up really well. Okay, let's see about putting some of this stuff back together. If I was smart, I'd drop that tank on there with a little gas and see if the thing's going to run before I put everything back together. Okay. Let's see what happens. Starts easy enough on the aether, doesn't it? She 
leaking here or what's going on here? I know the gas is coming out of the tank and I know I've got enough gas in there. We have a bad carburetor. It's not getting fuel. So let's take that back off and see what's going on. Let me examine this carburetor and I'll get back with you. It's just give me a few minutes here. I have this carburetor on my workbench over here and we're going to look at it again. I'll bring you in a little closer and a little tighter and let's see what we can find out. Let's go ahead and get that needle off of there again. Pulls out real easy. Not any way it did the first time. And let's not drop. Well, I bought that ultrasonic cleaner for a reason. Never used it, but I'm going to get my cleaner set up and we're going to throw this in my cleaner over there for a little while and see what happens. I'll get that set up and we'll go from there. I bought this ultrasonic cleaner a while back. I've never used it, but I bought it for carburetors. I got the stuff cooking in there. I don't know. I don't know how to use it. Um, you guys that run these, let me know. What am I supposed to set this at? And how long am I supposed to have that running? I'd appreciate comments if you could share with me how you use your cleaner. I got that plastic carburetor in there. I don't even know if that's allowed. But we're going to find out. If you know, comment and tell me how to do this. I would really appreciate it. When this uh, is done, I'll bring it back in and we'll take a look. I'm going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes. It's down to 27 right now, so just hang tight. I have the carburetor out of the ultrasonic cleaner. I, cl I, I blew everything out again. I installed it. I put the tank back on. I put a new fuel line on and I was surprised, but uh, the thing did start. Let's see if I can show you how it starts and runs. Kind of risky up here, but let's go for it. Oh boy, how do I do that? That has to go in there. I'm going to have to loosen that carburetor up again because I got something not installed correctly here. I didn't replace that O-ring, but I did t take it out and turn it around, and that seemed to help quite a bit. And I put a little silicone plumber's grease on it to help slide it in without rolling it. Let's see, I think that this 
has to go in there like that and then this back on. Boy, it's hot in Indiana today. Okay, let's see if that works now. Nope, that's this, so that must be the choke. So this will go up here like this with the air cleaner on. Now let's see if I can get it running. I don't know. Let's try it. Let me give it just a shot of ether. That it. There. Let's put that over there. Oh man. Put it back together. Hopefully it'll run again. Let's go ahead and put everything back together the way it's supposed to be. Yep, if I was going to do a lot of this, I'd have to set me up a different setup. Something that could raise and do, but... I get three of them done today. That's pretty darn good. The other two, I still got to check the oil and stuff on it. Okay, this is supposed to work now. And that's choke right there. And then that's full throttle right there. Let's see if it works. Let's choke it to start with. Oh, boy. I can't pull it while it's up here. I need to get me a new pull handle. I think I got some over here. Let's get it off of here. I can't do anything with it up here. See if I'm man enough to get it off. <clears throat> Hope so. can hang on there though, can I? I'm getting too old for that, guys. Let's see if that thing will run. Make sure I got enough gas in it. I'll put just a little bit more in. that running. Got it sitting outside. And I'm going to let it run there a little bit and get my pressure sprayer. Spray all three of them off. We're going to be ready to go. So that's the end of this video. We got that fuel problem taken care of. Appreciate your comments. And Subscribe to my channel if you find it uh, something that's useful for you or entertaining. Can it be fixed? Yes, it can. Can you fix it? Something like this, you're darn right you can. Until the next one.